Welcome back, you beautiful people, to another trailer reaction on The Muggsy Show. We haven't done one for a bit, so we're going to watch Honest Trailers, the Transformers movie, 1986. So I don't want to waste any time. Let's go ahead and go right into it. But before we do, let me know how much you love the Transformers by dropping a like on this video. Let's get right into it. All right, let's go ahead and check this out because Transformers Rise of the Beast is coming out this weekend. Let's go ahead and watch Honest Trailers, the Transformers movie, 1986. That's when I was born. Yeah, let's not talk about my age. <laughs> let's get right into this. I know, I look like I'm 31. It's okay. I appreciate it. Thank you for the compliments. Just the sound. You're so burned out after 10 years. No, I'm not. Well, some She's people are. Minor. We'll protect the mother Romeo and Juliet laws. Statute 2705-3. That you kind of skip the only good one. No, nope. before Watched Paramount it. It resorts really to bestiality, return to a film so 80s. Two different robots turn into boomboxes <laughs> and the cassette tapes fight each other. Nah, nah, they're about to break dance, man. We talking about audacious. The Transformers, the movie. Nothing like the 80s, man. Buckle up for a film that feels like Game of Thrones, but for cartoon robots that turn into things. I nominate myself as the new leader. As two opposing sides of murder bots murder the shit out of each other for 90 minutes they straight. Did. That doesn't even pause to mourn the deaths <laughs> of long-running characters <laughs> until they force children to watch the life slowly drain from Optimus Prime's that body. Was very traumatic. Because the only thing more ruthless than this script is the shame was corporate greed that inspired it. The reality is at the time, it was a toy show. We just thought we were, we were killing off the old product line, introducing a new product. Gnarly. You're used to a world where Transformers movies are 90% Josh Dumel, 10% <laughs> fighting robots. Now, watch them flip that ratio for better or worse. In this timeless adventure about a new generation of Autobots tasked to save Cybertron, and wow, it does not go well for them. It never does. We're under attack! Scramble! Tremble in fear <laughs> at the dawn does. of Unicron, a planet-eating god that's part Galactus and part Mega Made from Spaceballs. He's voiced by cinema legend Orson Welles, or at least the dying wheezes of cinema legend Orson Welles, buried under layers of synth. I... Unicron. In a performance, he couldn't have cared He's less about coming to the live action Mason wine commercial. Action, please. Ah, the French champagne has always been celebrated <laughs> its excellence. Are you ready to rock? Because this movie has the best <laughs> 80s that? music since Rocky IV, featuring the composer who scored Rocky IV. With enough hair metal jammed Free in soundtrack. every second to kick off a combiner's worth of 80 satanic panic, featuring hits like Stan Bush's power rock ballad, The Touch. You got the touch! <laughs> Stan Bush's power rock ballad, I The just like Touch, Rocky. again. You got the touch! And Stan Bush's power rock ballad, The Touch, one more time for good measure. You got the touch! A rock ballad so powerful, Stan Bush wrote it for Sylvester Stallone's Cobra, <laughs> and it's probably why Mark Wahlberg joined the franchise down the line. You got the touch! <laughs> we salute you, Mr. Bush. <laughs> Tired of modern Transformers franchises oh, that take forever no. to get to the fan-favorite cash-ins, I mean characters. Well, strap in as Hasbro desperately tries to hold the attention of an eight-year-old audience all hopped up on new Coke. I'm trying to get them into the shuttle, Ultra Magnus, because I know he can't launch the shuttle until I get them into the shuttle, but I can't seem to get them into the shuttle because they're impossible, impossible, impossible! From the Insecticons... That's how I talk when I have my pre-workout. ...to the Dinobots... Dinobots, destroy Devastator! ...to the Constructicons... Constructicons, merge for the kill! The Sharkticons. The world of the savage Sharkticons. The Quintessons. And their cruel masters, the Quintessons. To a living version of the junkyard where all of these toys live now. So say the junkyard. Collect them all. No, seriously. By law, we're not allowed to finish the trailer until you go buy a toy. <laughs> After the film is done killing childhood. I had a few, I had a few of those, for now? sure. Meet the replacement bots. Like Ultra Magnus, another big truck, but without the nuts. Cup and Hot Rod just bought it. I can't deal with that now. Blur, a cocaine. What about me, Magnus? What about me? <laughs> I can help. I want to help. What about me? RC, the only female Transformer who raises all the same uncomfortable questions posed by the existence of Smurfette. Wheelie, a weird rhyming homeschooled kid. You go wrong way. You fly, I say. 
Judd Nelson's Hot Rod, who's not the stepdad, but the dad who stepped up. Fish are jumping today, huh, Dano? And Daniel Witwicky, a child both adopted <laughs> and abandoned by the Autobots. Oh, Witwicky. What do I do? Transform, transform. You can do it. I know you can do it. You can do it. Creating a bloodline so traumatized it would one day produce Shia LaBeouf. No, 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 hey, no, hey. No, 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 no,